Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the announcement period for our February 4th meeting. Please give your attention to the announcements as they are being made. Council members, if you wish to make an announcement, please press your request to speak button. Council Member Stein. Thank you, Mr. Pro Tem. I just want to remind council members, particularly budget and finance and health hospitals committee members, that this Thursday at 4 o'clock in this council chamber, we will have a joint meeting um, to discuss the proposals for Bordeaux long-term care and Knowles home facilities. Hope as many council members as possible will join us at 4 o'clock this coming Thursday. Thank you. Council member Anthony Davis. Thank you, Chair. I figured you had more in the queue than that. Uh, just uh, I had a couple of quick things. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday the 5th, uh, we're having our East Nashville First Wednesday Coffee. Uh, that's a Nashville Chamber East event uh, for business leaders and any community members that want to come. Uh, it's at 8 a.m. at Edley's East on Main Street this month. Uh, again, that's tomorrow morning the 5th, 8 a.m. at Edley's East, First Wednesday Coffee. And then uh, we're not going to have our East Caucus meeting this month um, in lieu of trying to get some folks to attend the planning sessions. So no East Caucus meeting. Meeting, which is usually that first Wednesday. Um, and then uh, also our Inglewood meeting, our Inglewood neighborhood meeting will be Thursday the 6th at 7 p.m. at the usual spot, the Lytton Alumni Center on Gallatin Road. First Thursday of the month, Thursday the 6th, 7 p.m. Uh, for our Inglewood neighborhood meeting. And I think that's all I have. No South Inglewood meeting this month. And I appreciate your time, Chair. Thank you. Sure, absolutely. Thank you, Council Member. Council Member Moore, you're recognized. Thank you, Chair. I appreciate it. I just have one announcement. I want to announce the uh, my uh, annual community meeting um, to be held on Saturday, February the 8th, from 8.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. at the Berry Hill Community Center. And this is located in the city of Berry Hill. It's on 404 East Irish Drive, and I encourage uh, the neighbors uh, in District 17 to come out to this community meeting to share their thoughts and ideas uh, with me always. Again, it's Saturday, February the 8th from 8.30 a.m. to 10, 8, 10 o'clock a.m. at the Berry Hill Community Center on 404 East Irish Drive. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Council Member. <laughs> Council Member Bedney. Thank you, Chair. Um, I wanted to let people know in 31 that I will be out of the city uh, in the next two weeks. So if they have any uh, need for assistance, I will ask you to call the council office to the number is 862-6780. And they have been uh, put on notice, they'll, they'll be able to assist you. So just contact the council office and uh, whoever answers the phone, you can uh, try to ask them for help, or you can also contact me via email. My email is still the same, fabian.bedney at nashville.gov. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that we are working on a community meeting uh, for March. We don't have a date yet, uh, but this is a meeting that is going to be uh, set up to discuss planning issues in the district. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for more information on, on the community meetings. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. Council Member Langster. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I rise to say thank you to all the, uh, the council members who kept me in their prayers and thoughts. Um, I had a uh, short stay surgery uh, last week and doing fine. You can't keep a good lady down and I'm up and back and thank you everything for all the cards and the food and whatever you did. Thank you to the constituents that contacted me. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. And. Um, uh, it, it, it's really such an um, unpleasant experience to make it into a pleasant one when people keep you in their thoughts and prayers, and that's exactly, exactly what happened. But on a, another bright note, we'd like to say uh, happy birthday to Mr. Mark Macy, Assistant Director of Public Works. Tomorrow's his birthday. Can we give him a hand? Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. It's good to have you back. Thank you. Council Member Johnson. 
Thank you, Chair Harmon. Uh, District 29, uh, please do not forget to come out to my office hours uh, from 10 to 12 noon on the fourth Saturday, uh, February 22nd. It will be held, they will be held at the First Tennessee Bank, Nashboro location off Murfreesboro Road. Um, also, for those who live in the Flintlock Court area, um, we are having the stormwater system improvements project public meeting. Uh, this is Thursday, February 13th at 6 o'clock p.m. and the meeting will be at Grandel Manor which is at 200 Nashboro Boulevard and this stormwater improvement project is in response to flooding concerns uh, that have been received in that area. So please if you have any questions feel free to uh, send me an email prior to the meeting or give me a call. Uh, otherwise, I'll see everyone there. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. Council Member Dominey. Thank you, Speaker Pro Tem. Folks in Southeast Davidson County just want to give you an update. If you've been down Antioch Pike between Blue Hole Road and Haywood Lane, there in the 2300 block, they're across the street from the old Music City ball fields that have been soccer fields for the last year or so. There is an indoor soccer facility being built. I was there today. They are looking at opening later this spring. Just want to give you a heads up. If you've been watching, it's huge. There'll be three indoor soccer rinks inside the building and three more outside. But uh, We'll have more information coming and hope everybody can attend the grand opening all from all across Southeast Davidson County. It's going to be an exciting time for the community. Thank you. Councilmember Weiner. Thank you, Chair. I appreciate it. I wanted to let everybody in Bellevue know that February 15th is going to be the next Bellevue Community Meeting at Cross Point Church. I'm sorry, not the 15th, the 13th. It'll be at 630 at Cross Point Church, and we will be talking about the community calendar. We'll also be talking about a new volunteer bank. We'll also be having the February 24th reverse draw. It's the 10th year of the event, and we hope that everybody will come out. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember. Councilmember Stanley, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I just want to uh, remind everyone that uh, I was wanting to uh, update everyone on the uh, report that was initiated by the American Society of Civil Engineer Engineers uh, in December 2013. Uh, what this does is it grades the status of the uh, infrastructure of our nation by state. And uh, the United States of America received a grade of D+. Plus. What uh, Tennessee received was a little bit less. It was a D. Metro Nashville is a part of it's one of 95 counties in Tennessee. So it received a D in its infrastructure. There are three basic types of infrastructure that are uh, served, uh, that serve our city. Uh, infrastructure represents uh, uh, the equipment or structures where, uh, that a society is based upon, a society is founded upon. And uh, I will say that uh, the uh, infrastructure that I want to concentrate on is specifically the municipal transportation, the public schools, and the water sewer service. I will say that uh, in April 1st of uh, 1963, Metro Nashville initiated, or it was initiated, the Metropolitan Government that was a merger of Davidson County Government with the City of Nashville. Uh, and uh, also, currently, Metro Nashville is only 502 square miles, but only 73 square miles of that of our city in, as a whole is city of Nashville. The rest, 429 square miles, is Davidson County, suburban Davidson County. The mayor, our current mayor, has invested approximately one billion dollars in the downtown Nashville, 73 square mile area of metropolitan Nashville. He's invested less than 5% of that in suburban Davidson County, which is over 
four times or five times the size of downtown Nashville. I think that's ridiculous. One of the things I want to uh, address tonight, Mr. President, is the public municipal streets that is served under the jurisdiction of Public Works Department. Now, the Public Works Department, the traffic uh, transportation, it includes 5,700 miles of municipal streets, 6,000 streets that are named, and also 300 bridges. A lot of those, the vast majority of that is located within suburban Davidson County. It's not located in downtown Nashville. But the director of these departments, Public Works, as well as any other department, is answerable first and foremost, they feel answerable to the mayor. They do not feel answerable to the Metro Council, but we are the legislature of this city. We are elected by the people of this city. We have as much control over budget items each year annually as the mayor. So I feel those department directors need to answer to us, the council members. The other one I was going to let you know is the uh, public schools. I'll do that uh, next council meeting. And water sewer service, I'll do that the uh, uh, first meeting in March. I will say that all of these infrastructure issues are essential to correct immediately, not down the road, not five or 10 years down the road, but immediately. I'll give you one example of a street, Municipal Connector Street in District 14, that's my district, is Stewart's Ferry Pike. It's two lanes wide, it's less than one mile long, it connects Interstate 40, which is a federal highway, with State Route uh, 24, which is Lebanon Pike. But from, in a report I did, and I submitted to the mayor, and also to Public Works, from January 1st, 2000, to December 1st, 2010, there were 1,260 traffic accidents on that little less than one mile stretch of Stewart's Ferry Pike. A lot of those traffic accidents occurred from commuters that were coming from Wilson County or beyond that work in Davidson County each day. It's important to have these issues addressed immediately, not down the road, but immediately. I don't care anymore about these big money projects, projected money projects that are gonna generate all types of revenue for the city. Because those are projections alone. I've spoken to a number of uh, people who have said that convention center was a big mistake because they said that Opryland Hotel is the 29th largest hotel convention center under one roof in the world, the 12th largest in the nation, and they can't understand why Metro Nashville would be competing against Opryland Hotel, which is a private Gaylord interest for conventions when they can bring revenue themselves into our city. That money should have gone to the infrastructure which allows our city to operate correctly. I'll bring that to your attention. I appreciate that. And next uh, time I will speak about public schools. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Stanley. Are there any other members desiring to make an announcement this evening? Seeing none, that will conclude the announcement period. The meeting will begin at 6.30. Thank you.